Hi, welcome to the Nine Miles Review of the Pyramid Pan. This is an as seen on TV product. It's a fat reducing silicone cooking mat. And uh, original price is $14.99. On clearance was $11.97, and then I got 40% off that. So this is what it is. Um, it cooks food light and crispy, allows air to circulate under food, leaves food juicy and evenly cooked. Great for breaded foods. So uh, just looking on the back, so the 556 non-stick silicon pyramids allow fat to drip away, non-stick cooking mat that allows air to circulate under food and fat to drip away, leaving your food crisp, juicy, and evenly cooked. Food sits on a 556 pyramids, so fat drips away, air circulates non-stick, cooks evenly, microwave safe. Folds away, dishwasher safe, non-stick for fresh and frozen meats. Multiple uses, can be a pot holder. Uh, they even said you can open jars with it. So it's large, it's 16.25 inches by 11.5 inches. Trim to any size, never eat soggy meals again. And it shows you ribs, fish, vegetables, pizza, and bacon. All right, so. I'm going to open up the box. Here's the mat. Oh yeah, and um, let's see. I believe I read, let's see, what the highest temperature uh, you can cook this in. But here's the instruction booklet. So we got just... Alright, so let's, I always like to read the cautions. Uh, food and uh, pyramid pan will not will be hot and should be handled with care. Do not use on stovetop, under the broiler, hot plate, or, or open flame. Do not exceed temperatures of more than 450 degrees in or conventional oven. Oven temperatures will vary. The pan is not intended to support large pieces of meat, such as roast or whole chickens or turkey. Smaller food articles will fall in between the pyramids and not achieve the desired results. Do not place directly in an, into oven without pyramid pan being placed on a heat resistant supportive baking sh uh, pan or sheet. Disclaimer, like any cookware item, risk of injury exists in the use of this product. The user of the product shall use this product at their own risk and the seller or distributor or manufacturer will not be held liable under any circumstances for incidental or consequential loss or damage or injury due directly or indirectly to the use of this product. This use user waives any right to act as a part of a class. Okay, so just looking at foods to cook on the pyramid pan, you have bacon, breaded chicken breast, breaded fish, breaded pork chops, breaded veal cuts, crab cakes, croissants, uh, chicken fingers, chicken wings, fish sticks, meatballs, onion rings, potato skins, potato wedges, roasted vegetables, salmon, uh, seasoned chicken, seasoned pork chops, skewered kebabs, stuffed mushrooms. So what I'm going to do is um, just try a, a multiple uh, food items. So we have our cod right here. We have some bacon. Some potatoes, uh, some vegetable, you know, some uh, red peppers right here. So, uh, hopefully, the potatoes get crispy, the bacon gets crispy, uh, the fish gets nice and flaky. I'm going to put it all on the pyramid pan and see the results, see how everything turns out. So, uh, yeah, let's just get an up close shot of what this looks like. It's kind of a soft mat, nice rubbery feel. Feels pretty pretty solid. Doesn't feel like it's gonna rip apart or anything. All right, so I'm gonna wash it off and get started. All right, so the pyramid pan's all ready to go, and as you can see, it fit this uh, baking sheet perfectly, or not perfectly. It's hanging over the side a little bit, but you know, not too bad. So we have some. I'm just trying things out. Some bacon wrapped cod, <laughs> some uh, red pepper, red potatoes and just a strip of bacon right here. I sprayed the top of this with a little bit of olive oil. So, uh, with my, it's actually in another review, but it's the Misto. And uh, I'm gonna put it in the oven and see how it turns out. See if it's actually crispier than normal, or is it just a big mess? All right, so I took the uh, dinner out of the oven and this is what it looks like. So, you can see all the grease and the cracks of the mat. Um, so 
I guess it's convenient because you just stick the mat in the dishwasher and clean it and it's done. Uh, you have the uh, red pepper right here. And one thing I notice is you get the top a little bit burned you know, or a little bit crisp. But then on the bottom, like in a normal pan, the bottom will get crisp as well. And with this pan, uh, you don't have that. So, uh, bacon, um, you know, the bottom isn't crispy. Uh, I mean, like potatoes, the best thing about putting them in the oven is they get crispy on the bottom. So, you know, maybe I didn't put it in enough. I saw the bacon get in, like a little bit burnt on top, that's why I took it out. Uh, I'm actually going to put it back in because the directions do say you might need to put it in a little bit longer than you normally would with a regular pan. And so maybe that's how you get the crispy effect. But so far, this is not something I would use because I think a baking sheet works great. All right, so it's been in the oven about almost an hour. Uh, I would say about 50 minutes. And normally something like this for me would take about 30 minutes. Uh, you know, the bottoms. I'm going to taste test it. Yeah, it's definitely not as crispy as I'm used to. And I can taste the mat that's been sitting on. I can taste just a faint little bit of the mat on the food. So let me just. Just want to do a little taste test before I give my final opinion. All right, try this. All right, I just don't think it gets it as crispy. Like it, it suggests a piece to, uh, pizza, but you're gonna have to leave this in forever to get the crust crispy. I mean, part of the pizza uh, cooking a pizza is you want the the bottom to be super hot and. The mat just doesn't get hot enough to make it crispy. The bacon turned out pretty good. All right, finally the fish. So the fish, because I had to leave it in the oven so long, it's good. I think it's a little bit overcooked. So, do I recommend the pyramid pan? The answer is no. I do not recommend the pyramid pan. Um, I think a baking sheet works 10 times better than the pyramid pan. I think the one bonus is your food's not going to stick on this. So, that's a good thing. Um, other than that, um, you know, it smelled a little bit less, or maybe I just got used to the smell. But you could definitely smell the pyramid pan as it was cooking. Uh, the... the whatever uh, this mat uh, transferred a little bit of flavor into the food just a slight hint of the pyramid pan mat um, yeah and I just don't think it, it doesn't make the things it, you're gonna have to leave this in a really long time to make this crispy so it doesn't get it as crispy uh, as I'm used to just having it on a baking sheet so don't recommend this product if you like more information on the pyramid pan Go to my website, 9malls.com, that's the number 9, M-A-L-L-S.com, and click on the As Seen on TV graphic. That'll take you over to Amazon As Seen on TV section, where you can find tons more reviews on the Pyramid Pan.